What's up you guys, Josh here, also known as Harry Tornado. If you don't know me, I'm a part-time reseller based out of South Carolina, and this channel is all about mastering the art of the side hustle, teaching you how to turn your downtime into dollar signs. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to list an item on eBay. I'll take you step by step how to find your item, how to list it on eBay, and how to ship it once it's sold. So I found this calculator on Facebook Marketplace. It's a TI Inspire CX graphing calculator. These are worth about probably $90 to $120 on eBay, so I wanted it. I asked him if he would take 60 rather than 80, he agreed to that. And then I also asked him if he would be willing to ship it to me. He lived about an hour and a half away. So he agreed to ship it to me and I got it in about two days. So the first thing you wanna do is go to eBay, go search for a listing, and you're gonna type in whatever item you have. In this case, I typed in TI Inspire CX. It's gonna pull up the list of active listings. Then you're gonna to go to filter, hit sold items, and this will show you all of the items that have sold in the last 90 days. So you're gonna find an item that clo most closely matches that, what you're trying to sell, and then you're gonna hit sell one like this. What this will do is save all the information from that listing except the pictures. It basically just saves you a ton of time not having to transfer all the little details of the item. It You just really have to take new pictures. So with photos, um, it's important to use a solid background. I like a white background, so I just have a white piece of paper here. You set the item down, center it in your frame, and you take the picture. Hit OK at the top. And I took one more picture here with the screen turned on. You can see a little bit of, this was a color version of the calculator, so I wanted to show that it had a color screen. You're gonna hit the plus bottom at the, at the bottom of the screen, the little blue plus, and then add another photo. I'm gonna flip the calculator over to take a picture of the back, showing that it does have that dust cover that's really important when you're flipping these calculators. New photo, center it in the frame, take photo. You hit OK. And now I'm gonna show that it still has the original packaging. So I put the calculator and the cords back in the packaging, and then we're gonna take a photo of this as well. New photo, add photo, the green button, centered in the frame, take the photo. I'm gonna take one more photo of the back of the packaging. That way, if anybody wants to see the UPC on the barcode, they can look at this photo and find it. Anytime my item has a barcode, I always include a picture of it in the listing. So we're gonna move on to the title. The title is gonna transfer from that item that you picked in the beginning. So if you like the title, just keep it as is. Then you're gonna move on to the item details. These will also transfer over from the first listing. So the only thing I changed was the UPC. Um, I just said that does not apply. Condition is used. You just wanna look over this and make sure everything is accurate. Then you're gonna to go to the description. So for most of my descriptions, I start out with the condition. Um, I either say good, comma, used condition, great, comma, used condition, um, brand new condition, just whatever it is, you wanna be 100% honest. If there was any flaws on this calculator, like somebody wrote their name on the inside or something like that, um, I would disclose that. It's very, very important to be as honest as possible. Um, and then I always end my descriptions with please see photos for details and let me know if you have any questions. That reminds the buyer to not just go by the title of the item, but to look at the photos. That way they can see that it still has the original packaging with it. Um, they can look at the UPC and stuff like that. So with pricing, I do not auction. I do everything buy it now. If you click the little blue um, chart thing, it'll pull up the price history for the item. This will just give you a good history of what to price it at. I'm pretty aware of what these calculators sell for, so I price mine at $94.99. For offers, you can turn them on or off. I found that accepting offers does generate more sales, so that's up to you. 
When it comes to delivery, I offer free shipping on probably 99% of my items. Um, so you can put in, if you're not offering free shipping, you put in the package weight and dimensions, pick your appropriate shipping method. Um, for this, I, I'm offering free shipping. So I don't, and I'm shipping it um, in a padded flat rate envelope. So I do not have to weigh it. So once you have your shipping done, you just click list item and you're good to go. Um, you can do promoted listings and stuff like that, but I'm not going to get into that in this video. So once the item is listed, I go back on the eBay website, not on my phone, because I can't do this on my phone. And I go to my listing. So I go to my you know, listings, current listings, and then go to the very last page, which is where your most recent listing would be. And then I'll find my calculator that I just listed. I'll click on the link. I'll click revise your item. And then I'll go down to the photos. And for the first primary photo, I want the background to go away, that grayness. So you're going to click on the, the contrast button, increase the contrast up until the background disappears like that. And then you're going to increase the brightness until the calculator kind of looks normal again. And you can play with these back and forth. Um, Basically, I just want it to look like a really nice product photography thing. You know, white background where it looks like the calculator is just floating there. Save the image and then scroll down to the bottom and update listing. And that'll save. And it has that white, nice white background. It looks very professional. So when your item sells, you'll get a notification that says awaiting payment please be prepared to ship the item. So while waiting for them to pay for this item, I'll go ahead and pack it. I'm gonna put it in a, in a white poly bag. Um, just a white poly bag isn't gonna give it a lot of protection, but it's gonna make it slide into the padded flat rate envelope there in the background a little bit easier. So you close the, the poly bag, then you can slide the white poly bag into the padded flat rate envelope just like that. You're gonna peel off the tape and seal the bag. So I still wasn't 100% happy with how much protection this offered. So I actually put that padded flat rate into another padded flat rate. This is totally legal, you can do this. The only thing that matters when it comes to mail is what is on the outside. Sometimes I'll put stuff in a padded flat rate envelope and then put that in a white poly bag. So I just use the flat rate envelope as padding to ship something first class. You're gonna seal this one as well. And that is ready to ship, nice and safe. So when your item sells finally, you're gonna to need to print off a shipping label. So you go to your notifications, you click the page ship now for your item calculator. Then I'm gonna scroll down to create shipping label. So you're gonna see it and because this is in a padded flat rate, you do not have to weigh it. Padded flat rates mail anything up to like 70 pounds, I guess. So it should be $7.33. And then you can purchase shipping label, hit OK. It's gonna generate your label. And then you can print it. You peel it off and it's a sticker. And then you take the bag that the calculator is in and you Press it on, just like that. Sticks right to it. It doesn't matter what side. The, this side of the of the padded flight rates have like corners to show where, I guess where you should put the label, but it doesn't matter. You can put it on either side. And this thing is ready to ship. Thanks for watching, guys. I know this video doesn't tell you, you know, everything in 100% detail about how to list and sell and ship items on eBay, but hopefully it gave you a good idea of the process. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Have a great day.